G'day guys, Cam here from thefishroom.co.nz and today as you can see we're in the car but it's not the fish my beer, we're in the purple people litter today but we're off to do another hobbyist home tour so let's uh, go for a drive, let's get it on and let's check out some cool fish. We hear this tank is really, really cool. I'm going to do shut up and I'm going to Eli give you a bit of a description of what he's got going on in here. So away we go. Alright man, what do you got going on in here? Uh, I've got a 400 litre Aqua 1 tank um, Just running a single canister filter uh, Basically gone for an Amazon look Which you achieved quite nicely Which uh, I quite like the natural colours and tannins and everything So everything's pretty basic in colour um, Fish wise I've got Geophagus Altifrons, uh, there's four of those, three Royal Philoella, six um, Philippine Blue Angels, five Pygmy Corridoras, and three Starlight Bristlenoes. I promise that the Pygmy Corridors are in there because I have seen them, I just haven't been able to record them, sorry. Um, plant wise I've only got a little bit of Anubius and um, needle leaf java fern just keeping it pretty basic and I've got manuka driftwood just from the beach uh, natural river sand base and just round rocks from the boulder bay so you collected all those rocks as well? yep sweet they look awesome and you were saying something about a wee story about this trunk here? Oh, basically I just found it um, with the rocks entangled in it. So it was a pretty good find. That's a super cool find, man. I was pretty unlucky. I had to cut it down to get it in the car. It was actually massive. Oh, it was really? like the whole tree. Oh, really? So what's your maintenance like on this? Um, pretty busy, so I... I do high volume water change, 50% uh, once a week mm -hmm. at the moment. Um, with it getting colder, I'll probably do smaller ones twice a week. Um, and I have have been adding Indian almond leaves mm -hmm. um, on a regular
regular basis and just some tannins with that. Um, with the Roy Boys tea? Yeah. Yep. Sweet. So you're looking at putting any leaf litter or anything like that in it or just leaving it the way it is? Yeah, no, I've um, been looking into doing uh, um, magnolia leaves. Oh. I've got a magnolia tree out front there. Yep. And I did read somewhere that you can do magnolia. So. Cool. Um, Just because um, oak leaves tend to be a lot softer and they clog up your filter and take yeah. and... Cool. So this is the first time that I have seen a Echinodorus growing not immersed, not in the water, but as a pot plant in a vase. That is bloody cool, and it's directly above the tank. That's genius. Do you want to tell me about the light shit that you've made? Um, it was basically just two outdoor lamps from Mitre 10. Mm -hmm. um, and I pulled the wiring out of the old light set. Yep. And hooked it up. So it already had the plugs and everything. And then just made the little frame. Sweet. It's clearly working. I'm walking into your chair. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's clearly working quite well. 